I'm gonna use VP of sales. Okay, I'm gonna target the vice president of sales about why top three reasons why not to use a teleprompter when shooting a video. And the reason I picked that person is because you know, VP of sales are usually very specific on how they deliver their content. So they wanna be on message. Now, here's what it is. I'm gonna, the next section here are two, are what are the goals of the target audiences surrounding this video? And what are their concerns? Now, a lot of people say, well, why do you need this? Said, what are the goals? So if a person, if the VP of sales clicks on that top three reasons why not to use a teleprompter, I can basically kind of say, well, his or her goals might be that they're really busy and they've tried some, you know, um, teleprompters in the past or they were on a video experience where they've gone in a studio, they had to read it, they had to write it, it took a really long time and they're trying to actually speed up their process of creating video content. So I'm gonna put that in there. The goals of them are to make video easier. Put, I usually put maximum of maybe two or three in here. I don't wanna make it too complicated but I'm gonna show you why this is a key component of to do it. it allows me to really align why I am doing the video in the first place and to, to ensure that the person who's going to be watching the video keeps continuing to watching and it has that content alignment. The next one here is what are the concerns of the target audience? These are fears like what is the person not telling me? And I can tell you the number one thing I hear about <laughs> when I tell people don't use a teleprompter, don't memorize your lines is Number big fear is I'm going to screw up and forget my lines. <laughs> right? That's people why they want to use teleprompters, right? And I can always tell when I see a video, somebody who's reading it because it's perfect. You have the enunciations and everything else and it just sounds fake people, right? Like, yes, I get it if it's a commercial or if it's a broadcast, you know, to a massive, massive audience, it's a different story, right? But you have to be really good at it to make it authentic. But the really big fear around here in the VP of sales is I'm gonna screw it up, right? So granted, now here's why this is kind of important. When I look at kind of the bigger, the bigger uh, sheet over here, what I'm doing is here, I have the goals of the video, how it's gonna be used. I have like, here is my topic title, um, the VP of sales. Hey, the number one goal is to make video easier and their number one fear or concern they have is I'm gonna screw it up. This actually now gives me a good idea of what I need to tell them. And look, I haven't even started with any kind of scripting or any kind of creation of content. And that's why this prepping is kind of really, really important because now I know I can really connect with them when I'm doing it. So the meat and the potatoes, the talking points, the questions, the reason there's talking points and the questions is uh, kind of twofold. Here is the meat and the potato of the actual content that's gonna go inside this video. Now, the way I wanna structure it is I wanna tell them the most important piece of information first. And because I know, remember that graph that we talked about, people disengage, so I wanna make sure I wanna tell them the number one reason to not use a teleprompter. And I'm gonna share that with them right now. And so let me do that. I'm gonna put those top three reasons in there and I'll explain you how and why I came up with those, all right? Okay, so I magically inputted a couple bullet points here I'm gonna share with the VP of sales. Now, before I get to this, I kind of took away some of the stuff that I'm actually already telling you about. This is how to use the scripting sheet, but um, I'm gonna walk through right now. I'm gonna tell you how I structure those bullet points, what I'm gonna share with the person, and then I'm gonna show you how to use this, whether you're yourself on video like I am right now, you're helping somebody you know, talk to the camera and record that information, or you're actually interviewing somebody in that process. That's why this is called talking points and questions, because the sheet acts, doesn't matter what you do in those three scenarios, you're still gonna use this format. So here it is. What I basically do is like for that spokesperson, that would be me, is I'm going back, you know, the top three reasons why not to use a teleprompter in a video. And I'm talking to the VP of sales. And basically, he or, uh, his or her number one goal is to make video easier. And his or her number one fear is I'm gonna screw up and forget my lines. Totally, you know, realistic. So I'm gonna take, the first thing I'm gonna tell them is, what's well, gonna take too much time? Now, that's the first thing I'm gonna tell them because 
If the person is clicking on the video that says three reasons why not to use a teleprompter, I'm gonna take a pretty good guess that they want to actually speed things up and they've had bad things with a teleprompter and it's taken it too much time and I'm gonna tell them that or hers because look, it takes a lot of time to script something um, and come up with it. The same one is it sounds unauthentic. It's true. And every time I've, I've created content like this, and I've done this for a decade, so this course content that I'm teaching you right now, I literally have been talking about it for a decade. Now, can I make this course a little bit better or this module like tomorrow if I shoot it? Sure, but guess what? I'm probably gonna forget something else. So I follow this thing called 90% good enough. So I'm gonna tell him or her, look, it sounds unauthentic if you write out the script. The words will be perfect, but you're not an actor and it's gonna sound crappy. The next one, in real life, you don't have a re-record button, right? So the person's trying to make the video easier, but they're not gonna, they don't also don't wanna screw up. They have a fear of not screwing up, but I'm gonna tell them, hey, in real life, you don't have a re-record button. So if you give her a sales presentation or anything like that, in reality, you're, it's, you're okay if you screw up because that's real life. And it's this phenomenal thing that because just because we have a video camera and we have a record button, we can start again, we are compelled to just do it again and do it five million times until we think we get it right. And in fact, it just gets worse and worse and worse. So that's the thing I'm gonna tell that person as well. And then I'm gonna last two, as I start getting closer to the end of the clip, right? Because at the end of the day, I've told them the three things. And there's three things I could probably cover within the 60 seconds, the first half of the video, which means, you know, as people start uh, uh, getting out of the video and disengaging, at least they got the answer. If they're sticking in towards the end, I'm gonna hit them uh, with a couple more bullet points like, I'm gonna say, look, at the end of it, you know your stuff. Be confident in it. That's why you don't need a teleprompter, right? If you know what you're talking about, just start talking about it. And the last one is 90% good enough. The last 10% is gonna kill you. I use this a lot and it's true. There's that graph in there, right? So if you try to make it perfect, nobody's gonna know and also you're just wasting a lot of time. So when I look at this entire kind of sheet, let me bring it a little bit. I know, probably can't read or read this, but the thing is then I look at these bullet points. Do these bullet points match my title, right? They have to match the title, right? So I don't wanna lose my audience. Number two is do they match the persona that I'm talking to, that I'm relating to the VP of sales? Do they match what they wanna hear and talk about and some of their fears? So this allows me to stay on track. And I literally just use some of these bullet points. These bullet points are really just for me to know my brain to prompt me. And here's how you turn them into kind of talking points or questions if I work with somebody. So let's say these ones take too much time. Now, of course, I can talk about that. I can see it on a sheet of paper. I can collect my thoughts and talk about it. But if you have somebody directing or that is struggling with it, you can actually turn that into a question. Hey, Peter, talking to myself, you know, how much time does it take to write a script and use a teleprompter? Then I would start talking about it. You can turn, hey, is using a teleprompter authentic or unauthentic for a regular person? Right? So you can turn those into questions, into interview. It's the exact same process. The last part of the sheet here is a couple little things here is calls to action, right? What is the next step, right? What is the next step that I would do? So for example, in a video like this, when I would script it, I would say, okay, you know what? But the next, the call to action would be said, hey, you know, download our awesome little content uh, you know, cheat sheet here to help you prep for a video without having to script and read a teleprompter. That would be the next natural call to action, right? And you wanna put that in there. They can also be big graphically. What that means, you can do simple graphics at the end, you know, little end cards that says download a PDF, go to a webinar, you know, call this number, etc. cetera. So um, you don't have to do that verbally inside the video. And here it's B-roll supporting video clips. We're gonna to get to that when we actually start shooting some content here. What you wanna do is with this document is to make sure you always relate back to the you know, topic title. For example, in this lesson, it's a little bit longer too, is because it's a lot of content in here is I'm talking about the scripting and the content creation of this one. I'm not talking about something else right now. So I'm staying focused on what uh, you know, I'm trying to achieve in this video segment, all right? 
let's move on. Exciting stuff. You're almost ready to actually shoot some great content. All right, so let's get started.